Hi, good day, everybody. Uh, today is the uh, 4th of November 2021, and this should just serve as a brief book review. And I'm halfway through the book, but uh, it has got to be the best book I've ever seen, I've ever read. I've read quite a few on UFOs and related issues. Uh, Ross Coulthard. Now, um, the ISB, ISBN. Uh, is nine seven eight one four six zero seven five nine zero six and six in paperback. Uh, there's our e-books and other versions, but that's one that's it will be in the local library here in Australia. But I guess it'll go around the world. And there was a documentary of the same title by Ross Coulthard. Uh, major investigation into UFOs now known as UAP Unidentified Aerial Phenomena that name was given by bureaucrats and whatever to the, and the US military and the US government they've admitted they are real in other words these are not just lights in the sky these are often described as vehicles and craft and it's correctly described in that way uh, some of my friends who want uh, a couple of independent uh, witnesses, one of my friends said. Great, because there were tens of thousands of witnesses to the uh, craft, and I do mean something that it was described as one mile in diameter that flew slowly and silently over the city of Phoenix in Arizona in 1997. As I say, tens of thousands of witnesses. Uh, the so-called Tic Tac uh, UAP uh, off uh, the American coast in uh, 2004 and there was other, other incidents uh, uh, describing vehicles at the size of a 737 and the F-18s uh, that were flying over it in about, I guess it was about one metre below the surface of the water a whole fleet of them. Uh, one of them had dropped from 80,000 feet to 50 feet above the water in less than one second. They've been measured at well over 100,000 miles from a standing start. No speeding up, just instant takeoff at 100,000 or even up to 200,000 miles per hour instantly. Some of these uh, vehicles and uh, craft, as I said, are amazing in their size. Those ones were described, by the way, about the size of an F-18, and they saw something around the size of a 737 under the water as well, and that flew away. Uh, some famous and ext extremely well-researched and, and witnessed uh, cases, uh, including uh, Japan Airlines flight in 1986, a former pilot, a zero pilot, by the way, from Japan, uh, reported in on this, and he had, he had a co-pilot and a um, navigator with him. The device followed them for half an hour and actually sat either underneath, on top, beside, and in one case, for some time, right in front of them when they were doing, uh, I think, 38,000 feet and doing 600 miles an hour on a 747 freight uh, flight. A terrifying situation they said it was about the size of uh, twice as big as an aircraft carrier so you can't talk about drones or Russia or China they don't produce anything like that and there's a lot more and it's the best book on the subject that I've ever read so uh, I'll just leave that with you and uh, see what comes out of it I don't mind some civil and polite discussion on this but uh, there you go so Consider the book as one of the best uh, of the subject you'll ever read.